Hello everyone, this is Rick Grantham of rickgrantham.com. Today we're going to walk you through how to create a drop down list using a dynamic range and using a dynamic range within a table. So here's a common problem. Whenever you create a drop down list, and we'll say this is the value, these are the values that you want to have in your drop down list. Um, a common problem if you just do regular data validation is whenever you add an additional year, or you add additional data that you want to have in your drop-down list, it doesn't get added to the list. So we're going to try to solve that by using a dynamic range uh, within a table. So first off, what we're going to do is create a table. So let's just select somewhere in the data. And here you'll see we have no gaps in the data at all. So this is all contiguous data. And we're going to go over to Insert and select Table. Now in, in table, does my data have headers? Yes, it does. It has the word year here. So that's a header. We'll click OK. So now we have a table. So let's go ahead and name the table up here on the left-hand side. We'll name that, we'll say, TBL underscore year. And hit the Enter button. So now we should have a named range called table underscore, or we should have a table called table underscore year. And if we go over to... Um, formulas in the name manager you'll see this is actually showing up table underscore year is showing up is showing up in our name manager so let's close this so if we came came over here we'll say to a new sheet called drop down and we're going to try to create this drop down list you'll see an error that we run into if we try to uh, if we try to do it this way so let's go to data data validation which is where you'll go to do the simplest forms of drop down list and we're going to click on data validation and we're going to say we want to create a list and we want the source to be tbl underscore year right that was the name of the table that we had and you'll see whenever I click on OK here I get an error message see it doesn't like that and so what we're going to do is create a named range but to get around this is create a dynamic named range or create a dynamic range that references this table. So let's show you how to do that. Let's cancel out of all of this. Now we're going to come back over to formulas. And in formulas we're going to we're selecting in one of the years here right now. So you'll notice I, I haven't selected the header, I haven't selected anything like that. We're just going to select in in the years here. And I'm going to go ahead and select all of them here. I'm going to click on Name Manager. And when I do that, you'll see I still have the table year here. I'm going to select on New. And when I select on New, you'll see it brings in the naming convention here of the data that I've selected. And we'll say I'll call this Year Data. And OK. Now, here's, here's another thing that could have happened that would have been wrong. If we would have selected, we'll say, just in year as an example, you'll notice that the naming convention or, or the, uh, the syntax will be much different. So we'll select on Name Manager again. Here I'll select on Table Year. And if I select on New, now you'll notice that what it's doing is having this hashtag headers, which means it would only bring the header back in the dropdown. So it's very important that you select the data items here so that you get the right syntax. So let's just cancel out of this. Now remembering that what we created here was year date. So let's go ahead and create a drop down menu from year date. Go down to the drop down tab. And we go to data validation. Equals year date. And OK. So now we have our drop down list that has all the appropriate years. And the cool thing now is if we type in 2014 into our list, it should show up in our drop down list. So let's take a look at that. If we come down here and we type in, once I type in 2014, you'll notice this little small carrot, this little small kind of thing that's at the bottom here that will expand our list. So we'll say 2014. Whenever I hit the enter button, you see the coloring changed. And now that little carrot is there. So that is now included into the range, into the table. So now if we come to our drop down list, you'll see it now includes 2014. So that's the best way, in, in my opinion, 
uh, to create a drop-down list that is dynamic in nature, that it includes additional data elements are that as they're added. So underneath this video, you should see a link to to download the file that I'm using here. So feel free to also visit us at rickgrantham.com. Until next time, be a champion.